In this video, I'm going to show you how you can review your history in Canvas. But before I even get into Canvas, I want to point out that you can also pull up your history in Google, which can be handy. If you accidentally close a tab and you want to get it back, click on the three dots up here and come down to History. This pulls up a list of your recently closed tabs. And because I've synced my Google accounts, I have my recently closed on this device, but I also have it on the tablet that I have at my house. Um, so if you were working on something at home and then you came in and you needed to recover that same website, you can do that as long as your Google accounts are synced, which you can check up here to see if your sync is on. Now moving into Canvas, one tool we often overlook on this purple menu is our history. So if you were working in one course and you were doing an assignment or something and then you moved on to something else, um, you can quickly get back to it without having to go all the way through by clicking on your history. This is a recent history of what you've done in Canvas, and it holds about maybe 25 items or so of what you've recently done, but it can be a quicker way to navigate to what you were last working on before you got interrupted. Um, so I encourage you to explore that. A few other things I'm going to show you in history. If you use pages in your course, you can restore previous editions of pages. So like, for example, my home page is a page here, but maybe I don't want this picture. I want something I had before. I can click on pages, navigate to all of my pages. And when I open it, I have the ability to view the pages history and restore an earlier revision if perhaps I wanted this one instead of the current revision. Your gradebook also has a history. So let me go into a published course here. The gradebook history can be handy if you get off track entering grades and you need to go back to where you were before you started. I know I've done that myself. When you click on grades, now this is a, a sandbox class. These are my grad assistants, it's dummy data. Um, so I'm not showing you any real students grades here, but if I click on gradebook and I go to gradebook history, this keeps a running list of my students' grades um, and those that I may have changed. And it goes back for quite some time. So if you ever get off track, you can always return to it. The very last thing I'm going to show you is one that I've covered in other videos, but it bears repeating. If you ever need to recover a deleted item, go up to your course's URL, add a slash, and then the word undelete to the URL and hit enter. This will bring up a list of deleted items that you can go through, and if you need to, you can go click restore. It also, if you notice, it tells you the dates when it was created and when it was last touched.